Hi, it's Dustin here, and I just want to go ahead and give you guys a quick video update. And I also want to discuss what a hybrid state is inside of this video. So um, as you guys know, we're trucking along here. It is February, and I hope you are sticking to your implementation plans. Um, especially now, by, by now a lot of folks have fallen completely off the wagon when it comes to their New Year's resolutions. Um, I think there's like some statistic, people only follow up with their resolutions for less than 30 days. So we discussed back in January to stick to them. And if you've kind of fallen off the wagon a little bit, now's the time to really re-engage and get back on. Um, what I want to clarify today is the difference between a tax lien state, a tax deed state, and a hybrid state. So this is going to be just a short tip video. Um, so a lot of people get confused and there's only actually two real hybrid states out there. So most states are either tax lien states or tax deed states. So a few states like Texas and Georgia are what we call a hybrid state. Now, to clarify, a tax lien state is where the homeowner does not pay their taxes for, say, 2016. And at the end of the year, the government holds a tax lien auction where somebody like me or you can go in and pay the homeowner's taxes for them. And then when they pay back their taxes, they pay the penalty of 8% to 24%. And then if they don't pay you back, that's when you go ahead and you foreclose and you get the house. And that's where a lot of people get massive home runs in this business is because often the tax lien is only a few percent of the market value of the house. So if it's worth a hundred and say the tax lien is a thousand, by the time it's all said and done and you pay out the other taxes that are owed and the foreclosure fee, you'll get that hundred thousand dollar house for between three to five thousand dollars with all the fees. So let's contrast that to a tax deed state. So remember tax deeds are much simpler. The county has let the taxes go maybe two years, five years, maybe even seven years down the road. And they say, all right, we need our taxes. Um, if you don't pay us by the end of the month, we're going to do a tax deed sale to recoup our taxes and e any legal fees that we've encountered during this process. So say that same $100,000 house, um, maybe there's $5,000 as the opening bid because that's five years of outstanding taxes or three years of outstanding taxes plus the fees that the county has incurred while serving the notices and the legal proceedings to take that property to tax sale. Now, a lot of confusion happens around what we call hybrid states. So a hybrid state is a place like Texas or Georgia. They're both tax deed states, but with a tax lien benefit. So for example, in Texas, you go ahead, let's say we the auction in Texas is the first Tuesday of every month. So let's say you go to the sale. You look at the properties the same way you would for a tax deed sale. You have to go and show up and look at the property. Then you go ahead and you bid, okay? So let's say the house is worth um, $100,000 and you get it for $10,000. So you get it for $10,000. Now, you actually have ownership of that house that day. So if it's vacant, you can put a renter in it and collect rent. Or if there already is a renter in it, you can start collecting that rent check directly from the renter. And this is something we often do on our live training trips when our students buy properties or when we buy properties at the sale. Um, just yesterday, we picked up six properties and one of them has a renter in it. So we go and we immediately start collecting rent on that property, which is amazing because um, you know, you go, you buy the property for five, ten thousand dollars, and then that day or the next day, you're already getting seven, eight hundred bucks a month rent, which is incredible. So, the thing about hybrid states is they do have a redemption period. So, Texas is six months, Georgia is similar, it's 20% interest over one year. Um, and that interest rate is a penalty, okay? So, what I mean by this is you go, you buy the property, it's worth a hundred thousand, you bought it for ten. You can't sell that property for six months because the homeowner has their opportunity to come back and redeem you. So when he redeems you, he has to pay you the price that you paid for the house plus 25% interest on your money. So in the $100,000 house example, if you bought it for 10, say the homeowner's like, oh shoot, I made a mistake, I want my house back, and they pay you in two weeks. Well, they have to pay you 25% interest in two weeks because it's a penalty. 
whereas a lot of tax lien states are accruing. So if it's 18% over the year, that interest accrues. So if you get redeemed at six months, you only get 9% interest. So you have to, you can't sell the property for six months. Um, technically, I guess you could, but nobody's going to buy it because there's a redemption period on the property in a hybrid state. So those are the major differences. Hybrid states are great. Um, Texas, Georgia, obviously, as you know, some of our favorite places to invest. Um, I've been going there for years. We do the one of a kind training trips there. Um, very, very exciting. So on that note, we'll wrap up this quick video. Uh, last week we did a tutorial on how to buy tax deeds on bid for assets, which is a web service that a lot of counties use for their auctions. So I'm going to post the link to that below. People are loving that video. And we're going to start doing more tutorials like this for you guys for free training. I'm going to be introducing some of my team members with you that I work with. I'm very knowledgeable. I'm really, really excited about that. In the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys um, how one of our students, who's now a coach, he just purchased an $800,000 property, a gas station and a car wash for only $5,000. It's a massive home run. And we're going to talk about how you can do that type of stuff too. The thing about tax liens and deeds is as long as you stick with it, it's not a question of if it's going to work. It does work. Um, some people have work within the first week. People um, that I'll introduce you to next week, like Kevin, he'd been doing it for a year very successfully, full time. And, um, you know, he just hit one of those home runs. And that happens all the time as long as you stick with this stuff. Um, Kevin got this $800,000 property for $5,000. Uh, my friend Brad got a $500,000 house for $32,000. Um, this stuff happens all the time. We just picked up properties at the auction over $100,000 for $10,000. You just have to take the action. So I'll keep providing the training, but um, you know, as the analogy goes, I can open the door, but I need you to walk through it. And that's what these videos are going to help you do. So thanks a lot for watching and um, we'll see you in the next video.